Back in the Brazos Valley, a 20 year old tradition has seemingly been put on hold after its longtime host decided not to go on with it this year. Six News reporter Andre Uribe has more on how this 4th of July celebration is looking for a new owner and what's in store for the show. Although the 4th of July is still a few months away, one community fears that their festivities are already fizzling out. Yesterday, members of the District 2 Volunteer Fire Department voted to discontinue hosting their annual 4th of July fireworks show in Curtin, Texas. Their Facebook post announcement was met with a dozen disappointed comments, attendees expressing how this family tradition for many has now been lost, some calling it a poor decision. According to the department, the cost and effort to put the show on was ultimately what led them to stop hosting. It, it just got to a point where it, it did not make sense from a resource management aspect, um, the amount of money and the amount of time that it takes, so we really want to focus our efforts our volunteer hours that our members provide on training and response time versus fundraising. But the fire department wants the community to know it's not the end of the event, and they're looking to pass on this tradition to local nonprofits and organizations that are interested in keeping the fireworks show alive and have the funds to make it work. People just look at the cost of the fireworks, but there are so many other moving parts to it. And we have all those moving parts, and we know what all those moving parts are, and we want to just say, here's how you do it, y'all take it and, and run with it. And that's really what we're looking for. We want to continue the tradition, but we also had to be realistic in, in knowing that it was time for us to pass it on. The event attracts more than 5,000 people each year and would cost the fire department more than $20,000 to put on. For 6 News, I'm Andrea Uribe. And the fire department wanted to give the community enough time to find a group that will take on this challenge. For more information, you can visit our website, kcentv.com.